what up guys? Andy Lippy here back with another advanced OBS tutorial and in this one we're going next steps with Excel Draw's Move Transition plugin. I'm going to be showing you how to do different scenes just like the one I'm showing you now where it'll automatically move, pan the camera, zoom the camera if you want to, move to a different source and everything will be set up automated it's so powerful and there's so many cool things that you can do with it to just create little fun sections in your stream or maybe combine that with something like Leoran board trigger fire or touch portal and get viewers to be able to use channel points or commands to initiate that on your channel so definitely check out some of my videos covering that sort of stuff and let's get into it so make sure you like the video subscribe for any future content that I do put out put your rock for the stone let's go Right, so just the same with every plugin, we need to make sure we get it installed. And Exceldro's actually added an update to this. So he's created an installer, so you don't have to manually install anymore. So if you go to the, the website just here, which is the OBS uh, plugins website, uh, you look at the Move Transition by Exceldro, the link is in the description below. Hit download and you can choose whichever version you want. I want Windows, so I'm just going to download that just there. Open it up and just run the installer. Make sure you do it, extract it though as well. It will probably show up and ask you for administration privileges to say Windows is protecting your PC and all that jazz, but it's completely safe, so don't worry about anything like that. Hit yes, and get it all installed. It should be just in program files and the folder you're looking for is obs-studio or lowercase. If it's not, it will be in your program files 86, but Hit next on everything like that, get it all installed. I've already got mine installed, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you how I've got that cowboy scene working. So inside of OBS, I've got my cowboy scene just here. I've got a couple of groups. The reason why I've set groups up is because I want the camera to move as well. Uh, you won't be able to see my face in the camera because I'm currently using it to film on this. But in each group is just an image and the camera. So that's pretty self-explanatory and I'm only going to use five different cowboys. So if I right click on scene and go to filters, you'll be able to see I've got a ton of filters. I've got these five just here and that is the starting position I want for every single time I run this kind of scene because these all change the position uh, by moving obviously. So if I hit on now this eye at the top here, cowboy 1-1, one -one, it'll run. It'll automate, move to the next cowboy, automate again. And these are automatically moving. And you'll notice mine's actually fading out because I'm using Excel Draw's build of OBS, which has a cool little feature of show transition and high transition. Uh, you can actually catch that in one of Naughty's videos, uh, which I'll link down in the description below as well. There is some issues when using this build of OBS though, so if you know what you're doing, I'd recommend it. If you don't, then just stick with the, the typical release. And there you have it. So now I need to turn all these back on, which will automatically happen as well when I've uh, set up my scene to do this. That resets the position of all the cowboys. So the way that that is working, if you see just here, I'll show you through the settings that I've got. So I've got the duration of how long it takes to move. I've got the visibility to hide. So once that's completed, it will hide that layer and it'll continue going down that layer just like so. When that's done, it'll also uh, uh, ease in and ease out, so it's kind of like a smooth motion, changing the easing function and the curve if you wanted it to. The start trigger, I usually use enable and disable for everything, because as soon as I enable it, so you'll see if I, if I click this, you can see it flash up a little bit, and basically it enables it and disables it when the movement is complete. So as soon as that is in the correct position, it disables it and it doesn't stay on on your filter. So you don't have to turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, which is a nice little feature that Excel just put in. And the key thing that's making this work is the next move. So on each one of these, they all have a different next move. And as you can see, um, Cowboy 3-3 goes into Cowboy 4-4 etc and carry on down that list as so when i get to the end there's no next move so it just finishes done and that is how that's set up i'm going to show you a really basic way of setting it up from scratch so i'm going to i've got a scene down here with two images on i've got a cowboy and i've got me being a cowboy because yeah that's a thing so two images just here you can use any source it doesn't have to be an image it could be a video if you want to like i say i do put my camera in there as well right click and go to filters 
you want to add a move source filter and I'm going to do with a cowboy one start I'm going to create another one as well called cowboy two start just there so I've got two different images just here and I'm going to actually be cool um, in fact now I'm not going to rename them because it'll mess my file structure up so cowboy one is the top one I'm just going to disable the other one I want the starting position to be this mountain so I'm just going to zoom into the mountain just there and hit make sure I've set the source correctly to cowboy four because that's the top one that we're using press get transform I want to change the visibility to hide because once it's finished its movement I want it to disappear so it, I can see the layer behind it the duration I want it to be I'm gonna say 1500 so that's one and a half seconds you can tell it to change the order so you don't have to get it to hide if you don't want to you could actually pull that image to the first position or or anything like that it, that takes a little bit of tinkering with I prefer to just have them in an order and then get them to hide on the way down and then you can turn whichever one you want on later on as well uh, the easing that is all completely up to you depends on what sort of look you're looking for start trigger like I say this says on each one of these I'm not gonna go into each one because it tells you what they do on there my favorite is the enable and disable because it will automatically disable it once it is done I'm just gonna turn the eyes off for now the next move I want it to be I'm just gonna leave it on none for now because these are the, just the starting positions so when I've, I've got a command set up using something like the Orin board and anytime somebody presses or activates the cowboy command it will just activate these two very quickly so once that is done I need to set up the cowboy 2 start so I'm gonna just disable that scene go to this one and I'm gonna get zoomed right in on my face just there image get transform and you'll see that all changes I'm going to change that visibility to uh, show actually I'm going to change the top one to show as well and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say this one to take a thousand milliseconds so a second leave all these in uh, as that for now that is all personal preference like I say start trigger start and disable and the next move leave none so now when I press these two it'll just make sure they're both on and ready to go so I'm going to add another move source now. I want to create the uh, Cowboy 1 Move. Just rename it to Cowboy 1 Move 1. For now, uh, go to Cowboy 1. See how this can get a little bit complicated. Luckily, a bit of tinkering, you'll get it. I'm just going to get it to go full screen so you can see the Cowboy in the corner. I'm going to press Get Transform once I've selected the correct source, just like so. Uh, the duration I want that to take 1500 again so leaving all that as standard enable and disable and then if I hit start on that you'll see that goes back to the that's where I want it to start and then the first move will be just that so that's the first move for cowboy one right and then I want to tell that to hide once it's complete so change the visibility to hide I'm going to create another source sorry if this is a little bit complicated um, it can be quite complicated but you will get there when you fiddle about with it and you, you start working out how each bit works now we're going to be looking at cowboy 2 I'm just going to turn that one off and because I'm zoomed in the face I'm just going to get it to go full screen again just here oops that'll do and then go to change the visibility to uh, show because I'm always going to leave the one at the bottom on so my screen doesn't go black okay and then I'm going to change the the number here I want to call this one two seconds leave the ease in the same enable and disable so now when cowboy 2 starts it's just like that and the first move oh, I forgot to press get transform it's so easy done I'm just going to say that that's done image 2 so cowboy 2 start and it moves to there as well so I've put both of these into their starting positions just like so go to cowboy move 1 press next move and go to cowboy move to uh, cowboy 2 move 1 because that'll move to that next move afterwards watch this press play on cowboy 1 move just like so 
So I know that that was a little bit complicated and it kind of blew my mind the first time I started using it But just watch the video a few times and just see how I've got that set up The more images that you put in there the more movements that you want on there to make it look a bit more professional You can mess about especially if you're using the build that I'm using for the show and hide transition You, you can make it look very professional with swipes in swipes out and different movements like that so it is quite quite impressive the sort of things that you can get up to but combine that with like I say Leora and board touch portal anything that you can get your viewers to interact with it can really kind of just give you the the edge on your stream and make your stream look a whole lot different sorry that it's been a little bit dry but hopefully you have got it if not let me know in the comments below ask me any questions I don't mind helping out at all make sure you like the video and also subscribe put your rock over the stone much love